Over the last two weeks, we've covered Syrian anti-regime protests, people protesting against the dictatorship of President Bashar al-Assad. Today, I'm at the United Nations in New York City, bringing you the other side of the story at a pro-government demonstration where people are voicing their support for President Bashar al-Assad. Anti-regime protesters are claiming that they've been they're being murdered and imprisoned for protesting. How do you guys feel about that claim? In Syria, like we not just we not saying that they cannot protest. The president is telling them, guys, uh, do a committee. Let me listen what you want. Let me hear your problems. He's trying new things. He's more modern. He's trying the school system. He's giving bonuses. He changed a lot of things. So we have to give him time. How do you feel about these claims? Well, that's all lies because they 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 bring videos from different countries. And like we have been seeing it, like in uh, Libya, you know, Libya, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have been seeing it over there too. And they say that's, that have been an old country in Syria, and that's not true. Same thing, like, you know, people die in uh, Yemen, and they said that those the same people like, from Syria. So that's what they, this is a lie. And even my country, in my town, I'm back in Syria, they have people walking in Syria and shooting. And they say it's a police shooting, or it's not true. I have family over there, tell me what's going on over there. I believe, I'm not gonna believe. All Arabi, all Al Jazeera, what's it say? A lot of the anti regime protesters are claiming that Syrians are being murdered and imprisoned for support for protesting. How do you feel about that claim? The, there were uh, indeed some victims, and uh, we regret this. The government regretted this, uh, these victims. They are all our brothers and sisters, and they are all our sons and our children. The, uh, the reason for a lot of this death uh, was due to the fact that some armed groups uh, infiltrated the demonstrations and started to, started to create a kind of turmoil, a kind of troubles uh, within the ranks of the demonstrators in order to create a messy situation. And that was the main reason why many of the victims uh, uh, unfortunately uh, fell uh, into the streets. They are all our children and we regret this. And they, they are taking uh, the president himself uh, promised and actually he set up a commission of inquiry and investigation on how and who uh, killed these uh, peaceful demonstrators. I don't see any people against the majority in Syria. They do love the president. The Syrian people are very, they should be proud of their president because he's doing a lot for them and we are proud of him. We are here to show how much we love him, how much he's listening to his people. I mean, he walk on the street with no security. He just go to any city and he go to the restaurant, he go to the places and he tell the people, come on, let me listen, what do you want? Who does it? They tell me a president in the entire world that go out in the street with no security and just to walk out and hear people's problems. That's why we are telling them, you have the right to protest, you have the right to talk out loud, you have the right to ask for what you want, but in a, in a good way, not in a way that you kill innocent people out on the street and you're telling them, okay, here we go, look, the, 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 the Syrian army is killing the people. No, we need a good way to talk to each other. So, do you believe that President Bashar al-Assad is a true democratic leader? Yes, of course we believe that. We love Bashar, we love you Bashar, we love Syria! So we are we are we are with the government till we die because we know we know them you know they they, they protect all they protect all the people and they have no difference between their religions all they, we are all same religion we can say you know doing a lot for his people he's good and I am Rakai Ahmed bringing you a balance to the news.